Of course, there's a lot that bright work can do. But because we're focused today on task management, I thought it would just make sense to start here at the project level um, and take you right into the tasks because that's really the, the, the meat of an overall project is those tasks, of course. So there's a lot involved, a lot included. But if we go simply to the task list, this is where everything happens in a project. So there are several ways to build out a task list in Brightwork on SharePoint. And the three that I'm really going to talk about here are through a form, through a data sheet, like you see here. And then the third way that we'll be discussing is through um, a sync with Microsoft Project Professional. So I think I'll start with the data sheet because a lot of people are very familiar with Excel and perhaps are even managing projects today in Excel. So in this particular project, you'll see that this um, task list is already built out. So how did we do this? So certainly here, when you look at this particular project and all of the tasks listed, you'll see that we have the ability to insert new tasks. We can outdent or indent to build out this work breakdown structure. We can move tasks up and down, or very simply, we can go here and put in a new task and work our way along um, as you would in any data sheet. So I'll put July 14th in that particular one, and you'll see I'll actually stop there and I'll assign that one to myself. I certainly haven't completed filling out all of the data, um, but I think you get the point there. That we can add new tasks, we can then, um, once we've added them in, we can stop editing and we can say either don't save or, or save my changes. I'm not going to save those because I didn't finish them. We can then also, as I mentioned, we can build out this work breakdown structure by moving, you know, indenting or outdenting particular tasks. We can take a section, a, a, an entire section of tasks, and we can move that up or move that down, um, and it'll bring it all at once to where we need it to be. We can put in our durations. Our predecessors in this nice, easy drop-down fashion. And once we've done that, of course, we'll simply put in our start date, and you'll see using um, the Brightwork in-browser scheduler, we can simply calculate that schedule. And it will go through and figure out that schedule for you and put in those dates, and you'll be good to go. As you assign these tasks to people, they can be notified. You can set up notifications and alerts to allow them um, to receive an email that lets them know a new task has been assigned to you. And when they click on the link in that email, they'll come directly to that item and be able to mark it as in progress or completed or simply read about it and perhaps close it because they need to go off and do that work. So that'll bring us back to making it easy for them to find that work later. 